Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Wait a minute, this light ain't on here. Oh, I turned it off, didn't I? Yeah. And it went on in my thumbnail. Jesus, take the wheel. I hope you another light. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. If this is your very first time to this channel, round that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure that you hit that notification bell. Beside the word subscribe, so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go on, take for the team. Comment like a share and go on, take for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to don't get to come like a share. Okay, guys, check this out. We're going to pray and we're going to get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How you doing today? Over here to the side. The beers in the building, y'all. They go, they go, they go. The beers in the building, y'all. They go, they go, they go. Let's see if it's not pretty. Ah, there he is. Little Ben has done him a nice cold H2O. Also, I got my lips hot sauce. You like your bottle? Look where I'm talking to you, Russian Blue. Hit that link right there and get your little tie off. And you look smart. Okay, you guys today for the food. Y'all, we got some of them bone them bone them neck. Bone them bone them bone them neck. Bone. Uh -huh. These are pork neck bones and they have been barbecued with sticky, icky, icky, icky barbecue sauce. They've been baked. Okay, these in the middle, we have candy yams. They've been baked as well. And we have some fried cabbage and a hunk of cornbread in there. We got white onion over here to the side. And we have got our Miss Campbell's. Cha-cha. That's what we got. Chow, chow, cha-cha. We got a cha-cha, but that's what we got, y'all. That's what we're working with today for Sunday dinner. Uh, y'all having Sunday dinner? I'm going to put my cha-cha up here from the beginning this time. Are y'all having Sunday dinner with me? Or what are you having for Sunday dinner? Somebody please tell me they have some peas. Mm -hmm. I wanted some peas so bad. I did. But I didn't want to wait on cooking any peas. And yesterday, we had to take Gucci to the vet. So I didn't have time to get any of those ready upon yesterday. Baby, uh, I need my hot sauce, the other one. So let's go, y'all. Mm-hmm. Candy yams, y'all candy yams. Look at look how candy they eat side day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's sticky. Mm-hmm. It's cabbage. It's got a hog jowl and bacon cut up in it. Mm. Ooh, it's hot too. Hold up, y'all. Let me get this situated here. Mm. There you go, song. Cabbage can count to bread. You know, a lot of people mm, may not believe in, but to me, you know what? I hadn't thought, I, I've thought about it before, but I haven't really thought about it in a while. Do you know? Mm, Mm. Can you really have? I know you can. But most Southerners, do you really have a Sunday successful Sunday dinner without some type of green? A real soul food Sunday without a cabbage or some type of green? Mmm. 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 Done it before. Nothing's changed. Mm. But ain't it something about greens? 
Whether it be cabbage green, mustard, collard, whatever. I ain't something about greens it just reads Sunday dinner. You know? Mmm. 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 What is, for you, what is the one thing that you have to have? Not to say you got to do it every Sunday, but what is the one item that if you were going to have the pastor come over every Sunday to your house to cook dinner, what would it be? Would it be greens to be cornbread? Would it be chicken? You know, what would it be? Ah. Here's the next bone, y'all. I can't hold you as long as hot. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are some thick neck bones, too. Like they did. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 What would be the one thing if pastor will come into your house every Sunday? Mm. Mm. What would be the one thing mm -hmm. that you would have to have? On the table. Mm, mm. Mm. There's a few of you. I know the answer. Mm -hmm. I know the answer. Like candy free mount. Chicken is going to have to be on the table. For her Sunday dinner. It's going to have to be there. Chicken. It's going to have to be there for her. Woo, woo. Bone just flew up out of there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Chicken is gonna have to be there. It is. Mm-hmm. Mm I know most of y'all probably saying for me, it would have to be pork, but it wouldn't. Mm -hmm. It would have to be some kind of green. It would. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I had to say, what is a beef pork, whatever, if I had to say for most people from the Carolinas, in my experience with my friends that are from there, it would probably be rice. For some reason, people from the Carolinas, like, they eat a lot of rice. They do. They eat rice on the greens. They eat on the... Mmm, mmm, chicken, you know, oxtails, chicken. People from Carolina eat a lot of rice. Mm-hmm. And a lot of grits. That may be another one for the people out of, from Carolina. The Carolinas love rice and they love grits. Mm-hmm. And they love eating rice and grits like when I grew up, rice and grits were breakfast cereal. That's what they that's what they were like oatmeal. Mm-hmm. That's how we ate them. You know. Well, you could have rice for dinner. But I never ever 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 remember having grits for dinner. Mm-mm. Now we had fish and grits too for breakfast. Um and I never ate shrimp and grits until I was an adult. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I was a child, other than whiting, catfish, um, you know, what we call prefish, bass, brim, that kind of thing. Um I don't even know if I had any other mm, mm, seafood at all. Mm. Until like I, I was way up in age. I know I ain't had no crab legs. Or nothing like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Or shrimp either, I don't think. I don't think. Now, I do remember, um, when I was a child, the first time I ever ate shrimp was at, like, a, a Hutter House. Mm-hmm. It was a Hutter House. It was in New Orleans, Mississippi. I was sitting at the counter, and I had, mm -hmm. been adventurous and had fried shrimp. Mm-hmm. I remember the first time I ever had shrimp. I remember. I remember that. 
And it was in New Albany, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And I was, um, I would say at least a teenager. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I had had crawfish. Let me take that back. I got to add that in too. Crawfish was something that I had had, uh, but I didn't know it to be crawfish. I didn't know it to be crawdeads. That's what we called it. Um, because when it comes to Donald Gucci, mm, I dropped a cornbread down there. He don't even eat human food. I don't know why. You can ask production. I don't know what it is about me getting in the shell. But every time I get in the shell, he does not like to sit down. He wants to be up here with me for some reason. Every time. But he don't know about human food. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's like. Or what it because it feels like to him I'm sexing myself off from him or what. He don't know about human food. So, it ain't that. Now, I don't know let him get what I dropped, so I don't know what it is. But every time I get in this show, I have production. He just go crazy by getting over him. Uh, um, mm, um, mm, mm. Anyway, y'all, that was a thought in my head. What would you have to have on the table for starting to do? Mm hmm. I was talking about crowd We just gonna get them out later. Came in the country. We used to go and dig them up, honey. Mm hmm. So, I had had that. That's considered to be seafood. Um, so, like I tell y'all, we took Gucci to the vet yesterday. And I found out, we got a piece of gristle in that meat right there, look at y'all. And I found out that he has allergies. Um, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Me as Al did. And I was completely stumped when the vet told us just to give him mm, mm, regular cross the town Benadryl. And I was stumped. Mm-hmm. And adults at that. Mm-hmm. He has allergies. And they want to give him adult uh, Benadryl that you buy on the counter. Mm-hmm. Now half a pill twice a day. Mm-hmm. I was stumped, y'all. This is my first time. I did know that you could give dogs, like, a human uh, stomach medicine. I knew that from previous animals that we had had before, previous dogs we had had before. But I did not know that you could give them, you know, human medicine. Or let me just say algae mouth. Mm, because we had one of our pit bulls, Romeo, um, he used to have a digestive problem. Mm -hmm. And he would throw up bowels and stuff. And um, taking him to the bed, they told us to give him, um, you know, regular stomach medicine like we treated our stomach. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I was stumped about that. I was. Mm-mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. So, how y'all doing today? Mm. And have you figured out what would you have on your table on Sunday to make your Sunday dinner be a success to you? You know. Mm-hmm. I know even down to the fact that some people are gonna say a nice mm, mm, gallon of sweet tea. That's what my auntie would say. She's a lover of sun tea. Um I remember back in the day when people started doing it. Not to say they just started all of a sudden, but I remember back in the day when all of a sudden it was a craze going over the world. People sitting they tea. Put their tea bags in the in the water and stuff. And sit it outside and let the sun make their tea. The child do that. I remember it being a craze going over the world at some point. Why, I don't know. But I do remember that in my lifespan. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody running to Walmart and Dollar Store to get them um, glass. Mm-hmm. Tea jugs with a spot on it. They make sun tea. I remember that. So I know for my auntie, that's what she's going to say. It's going to have to be, um, you know, she loves tea. So that would be her thing. But for you, what do you think would make for a successful Sunday dinner? Like something you have to have. Like, it ain't going down. It ain't going to be hot sauce. You know, it ain't going down. The Sunday dinner I ain't going to be successful with that thing. Mm, mm. But anywho, uh, also y'all, um, back home y'all, and I'm late. I am. I'm late, y'all. But y'all, we learned over the last couple of days that <clears throat> there was an incident involving the police department, the Memphis Police Department in Memphis, Tennessee, y'all, where we're from. And there were five black police officers on a routine traffic stop. I think it was something like speeding. That basically it was Rodney King reincarnated. Not reincarnated, but you know, not. But you know what I'm saying? It's like Rodney King all over again. Five black police officers. Um. Rodney King, another black guy. He left it with a broke neck, kidney shut down. I mean, beat. He died. He died. You know, police officers are not. I don't know. I'm not going to lie. Let me go back and take it back. I'm not going to lie, y'all. If it came down to protecting my family or whatever, I ain't got not, no, not one lie to tell. You. If it came down to protecting my family, I got to lay you down. I do. And if it comes down to you hurting my family, or me taking a shot at you, or I got to lay you down. That's it, that's all. And if it comes down to protecting my family, I'm doing everything. Including or up to, or I ain't gonna say up to, because that's gonna be my go-to. If I know one hundred percent that you are trying to harm me and my family in a physical way, I gotta have you. That's it. That's all. I mean, I'm just putting it out there, but that's the truth. It's just that. But mm, big old piece of grilling. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, mm hmm But mm, I'm trying to think how could even one person how mm, 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 more than five as a group. What kind of heart do you have to have to beat another human being? Not, not shoot. No. Not run with a car. You know. What kind of heart does a person have to have? To beat another person and cause injuries to make them lose their life. 
<coughs> excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Thank you. I know it's a lot of things that have happened in the world. Everything I just that you could think about has happened in the world. I get that. I'm just trying to put myself in that position. And they ain't done nothing to you. You're not trying to protect yourself. You stopped him because you because he was speeding. He ain't done nothing to you. Whether you gave him a ticket or he didn't get a ticket. Whether he drove off or he didn't drive off. Whether he ran or he didn't run. You were going to get paid. Regardless of what he did. What could be in a person's heart or in a person's mind? Not one. Not two. Not even three. This is one man. Not even going to say four. But five men? What has to be in the inside of you for five men? Grown men. Five fully grown men to jump on one man and take his life. Y'all, this world that we live in today, all thing I can say is, I pray every day for the future that we are delivering to the next generation. I pray daily for the type of world that I'll be leaving for my daughter. That's the reason why I feel it's so important to spread a little love around. Spread a little joy to people. You know, spread a little positive serenity in people's lives. That's the reason why I refuse to walk around, even though the last couple of days I have been around this joint and like the not the best attitude. I haven't because I've just been real, real rainy. It's been gloomy and I haven't had the best Da, 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 about myself lately, my little zest, my little curve by myself. It just really hadn't been there the last couple of days. But still yet, I still try to live in, or, or, or no, no, I'm still going to live and try to exude a positive attitude. Because the world that we live in today, which will only be worse by the time my daughter is, 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 by the time she's of age, go to college, have kids, that kind of thing, we're talking about another 25 years or so down the road. What is this world going to be? Y'all, I just feel like, regardless of what's going on in your life today, because each and every one of us has a part, a fiber, and some obligation to sow something positive into the world, especially if you have children. Especially if you have children. It's time to really look around us, y'all. And see what's going on and start to realize it's time to start planting positive seeds into the world. This ain't no race-related thing. This ain't no racially charged thing. We can't blame this on da 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 this, that, and the third. This was five fully grown black men that have been fired from the, not put on administrative leave, not suspended due to investigation, fired. All right. For misconduct of beating this young man. And he lost his life. This is crazy. I just could only imagine what could be going or what was going through their heads at this moment, at this time. My heart goes out to that family. Over speed. I can only imagine. Y'all check this out. Like I said, think about the word that we're delivering to our offspring. 
Think about the word that we're delivering to our children. You know, if you have children old enough now to have children, to your grandchildren and your great grandchildren, think about the word that we're going to be delivering to the next generations. Y'all, we as the what you would call the middle age group now, um, we have obligation. You should feel an obligation to sow some good into the world. Therefore, maybe some good will come back out of it. Y'all done lost my whole appetite. I hate that I thought about this so early in the video, but I did. Because we're just finding out about it. It happened, I think, January the 7th. Yeah. Earlier this month. Two weeks ago. Or so, yeah. Two weeks ago or so. And I do know that they're saying that the video footage will be released to the family tomorrow. We just, we just found out about it a couple of days ago. And it just hit my head during the video. Uh, because I it hit my head that the video footage will be uh you know, put out tomorrow. <sighs> what a world we live in, y'all. I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. I'm going to go, okay? I'm going, uh, like I said, y'all, think about what I said, though. Y'all, sow some good into the world. You know, it doesn't hurt you any. Um, it ain't going to make your light bill go up just for you to be in a positive attitude, to be in a positive way. Uh, it's not going to make your rent or mortgage or light bill or, you know, it ain't the, your gas ain't going to go up in your neighborhood just to be nice to somebody. It's not. Y'all, let's throw some good into the world. Throw some positivity into our children's lives, our offspring's lives, our, our grandchildren's lives. I understand the whole point of, yeah, you got to teach them to protect yourself. You do. But that don't mean you got to teach them to be a, a tyrant or a bully or to feel like they have to prove that they're the biggest, best thing on the block. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? That's all negativity. It'd be better to teach them um, their Easter lesson, Sunday school program, you know, stuff like that. It'd be better to teach them how to get along with one another so they don't have to be bullied. They don't have to be worried about being bullied. You know, that's all. Can we all just get along? Anyway, y'all, I'm gone now for real. Talk about Newly Jan. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you because you didn't have to be here. You could have chose to be anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be right here with us, and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. Talk about my sister Newly Jan. Round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much, and I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look go. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you said I have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye. Bye. Mwah. Woo. You're supposed to be somewhere getting your hair washed. Now what you still be doing? You're going to be getting your hair washed. Hold up. Baby. Come here. Mm. A lot of y'all said y'all missed the live. And food stinks. Everybody can't get on getting my nerves on. So if someone get a hair done, take this. Mm. Mm. A lot of y'all said y'all hadn't met him. This is Gucci. Say hi. Tell him hi. Say hi. Y'all, this Gucci. There you go. A lot of y'all said y'all hadn't met him. Y'all missed the lives that he was on and everything. Look, she's trying to pull his clothes down, honey. But this is he. Say, hey, Gucci, look. Turn this way. Tell him, look. Gucci, turn this way. Say, hey. Tell him, hey. Girl, look at your head. Go get your hair washed. You might Say, bye. Say, bye. Y'all, that's Gucci. That's him. Anyway, y'all, I love y'all. I'm going to see you next time, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> Back on get your head washed, honey. It's time to get that head. Yeah, because she's going to get her hair done. Oh. Deuces. Bye.